What's up everyone? Today's video is very special because I'm going to answer one of your most asked question. If I could start learning AI all over again in 2025, what would I do differently? And you know what's funny? When I started, I was totally overwhelmed, jumping between random tutorials, getting lost in math equations, and doing everything the hard way. But hey, that's why I'm creating this video, so that you don't have to do the same mistake I did. Let's dive in. Let's start with the basics. And I know some of you might be thinking, please not the basics. But trust me on this, I learned this the hard way. Do you know what really happened when I tried jumping straight into neural network? It was a total disaster. It's like trying to build a house without knowing how to use hammers. So here's actually what you need to focus on. First up, Python. And no, I'm not talking about becoming a Python expert, just comfortable enough so that you don't fight with your code while learning AI concepts. Then there's mathematics, and don't run away. I'm not talking about becoming a math professor, just enough linear algebra to understand what's really happening under the hood. Trust me, it will make everything else click so much faster. And finally, some basic statistics. Variance, mean, that kind of stuff. It's not as scary as it sounds, and it will save you a ton of headaches later. A quick tip here. If you are coming from a development background, DataCamp Associate AI Engineer track is perfect for this foundation stage. They really focus on teaching you math and Python concepts that you will use in AI development, not just theoretical stuff. Okay, here's where the fun starts. You know what's wild? Everyone wants to jump directly into deep learning and build the next chat GPT. But let me tell you a secret. Understanding the basic of machine learning first will make you a way better AI developer. I remember building my first decision tree model and thinking, this is so simple. Why am I even learning this? But guess what? Those fundamentals help me understand the more complex stuff so much faster. Start with the basics, regression and classification. It's like learning to walk before you run, but with data. Get friendly with scikit-learn. This library is your best friend when you are starting out. It's super helpful and forgiving when you make mistakes. Start with a small project first. I remember my first project, predicting house prices. Totally bummed it, but learned so much. For those of you coming from data science background, DataCamp Associate AI Engineer for Data Scientist is perfect here. They really bridge the gap between data science and AI engineering really nicely. Speaking of learning AI in the right way, let me share with you something important. Interactive training is essential when learning AI. I learned this firsthand when I started my journey. That's why I want to share with you a resource that I particularly like and tried, DataCamp. With DataCamp, you learn by doing, through short videos and hands-on exercises. Their platform is super interactive, allowing you to code directly on their website for a really hands-on learning experience. DataCam is sponsoring this video, and I'm excited to introduce you to their learning track teaching how to develop AI applications. With this program, you will develop all the key AI skills you need as a developer or engineer, including working with OpenAI API, using a hugging face, and building LLM applications with LangChain. You will also apply your knowledge by completing real-world projects as part of the curriculum to gain experience and build confidence. I personally use DataCamp in my own AI learning journey, and it played a huge role in helping me grasp key concepts and build practical skills. When I was starting, having a structured hands-on learning approach made all the difference. And that's exactly what DataCamp offers. If I were starting my AI journey today, DataCamp would be my top choice, as they have got a strong portfolio of advanced AI courses. I have linked the relevant DataCamp courses in the description below. Now let's break down exactly how I would approach learning AI if I were starting fresh in 2025. Let's dive in.
now we are getting to the good stuff. This is where you get the chance to play with the tools that are actually building today's AI revolution. But here's something I wish someone had told me. You don't need to learn every single framework out there. TensorFlow or PyTorch. This used to stress me out so much. But here's the truth. Big easier one. They are both awesome. I started with TensorFlow and I loved it. Wants to build something cool quickly? Use pre-trained model. It's not cheating. It's smart. I wasted months trying to build everything from scratch. Vision, NLP, or time series. Pick an area that interests you and go deep. You cannot be an expert in everything. Trust me, I tried. And now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Large language models. They are transforming everything right now. And the best part is, you can actually learn to work with them effectively. This is where Datacamp really chimes. Their developing AI applications track cover all these modern frameworks we just talked about. And if you are especially interested in LLMs, they have two amazing tracks, Developing Large Language Models and LLAMA Fundamental. These courses are constantly updated with the latest development. Seriously, they are always adding new contents as the field evolves. This is where the rubber meets the road. You know what's crazy? I used to think that just following tutorials was enough. Big mistake. The real learning happens when you build your own stuff. Start building. My first project was a disaster, but that messy code taught me more than any other tutorial. Document everything on GitHub. Future you will thank me for this step. I still cringe at an old undocumented projects. Join Kaggle, but here's the trick. Don't worry about uh, winning the competition at first. Use them to learn and experiment. And speaking of building real world application, Datacam building AI application with Langchain track is perfect for this stage. You will build actual production ready applications that you can showcase in your portfolio. The projects are super practical and really show employers what you can do. Last but definitely not least, and this is something I'm super passionate about. You have got to stay curious and connected. The AI field is moving crazy fast. You know how I keep up? I have made it fun. Reading research papers used to terrify me. Now I treat them like detective novels, trying to understand the mystery behind each innovation. Join communities, Reddit, Discord, wherever your people are. Some of my best learning came from random Discord conversations about AI. And please, go to meetups when you can. I met some of my best friend and mentor at AI Meetup. This is another thing I love about Datacam. They are constantly updating their content to keep up with the latest development in AI. The community is super active. And you are learning alongside people who are on the same journey. Plus, their instructors are actually working in the field. So you are getting real practical knowledge. All right, everyone, that's my roadmap for how I would learn AI if I could start all over again in 2025. Remember, it's a marathon and not a sprint. Focus on building a strong foundation, then layer on practical project and keep exploring new trends. I have put links to all the data camp track I mentioned in the description of this tutorial. Whether you are a beginner or already working with AI, there is a perfect track for everyone. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more AI focused content. Let me know in the comment which part excites you in this roadmap. I read every comment and love to hear from you. Till next time, keep coding and keep innovating.